All right, everyone. Good morning. So, um, those of you that don't know, I applied for a job back a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago or so, and I ended up getting it last week. Uh, so we're still waiting on background check and stuff like that, but, you know, whatever. I, I don't do anything. I craft. So, you know, that's... If, craft, if crafting is a crime, right? Anyway, I'm lame. Anyway, so... Uh, we are getting ready to move, which actually won't be for a while, because, like, we gotta get the house ready, we gotta put it on the market, hope someone buys it, buy another house. My wife's a teacher, so she has to wait until the end of the year anyway, um, I mean, to get another job, but, I mean, one of us is gonna have to commute, but regardless, not the point, okay? Um... So, I'm going through books, and books over there, and books in there, and um, so my wife and I have this really big problem with books. Sorry, sitting you on the sofa for a minute. We have this problem with books, right? And we love books, and we buy books like this, and especially when I was you know, five years ago, maybe, um, I hated my job, worked at a hospital, didn't like it at all, um, mainly because of the people, right? And, hi, Patrick, Bob! Hello! You wanna be in Daddy's video? Hello! Hello! Yes! Yes! Hi, Patty. Patty, look! Ew, gross. Look! Oh, shucks! This is how I craft on my weekends. <laughs> hi, Patty! Oh, baby! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness! She, see, this is how I craft on my weekends, okay? She's very possessive, and she, she sees that I'm doing something, and does this. Hi, baby. Hi. Hello. Yes. Yes, you sniffed my ears. Okay, so anyway. Are you done? Okay. 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 Well, we'll just chill under Dad's under dad's arm we'll just make a video if she has anything to say then i'm sure she'll bring it up right right ew dude can you quit snotting all over my leg please rose yes yes i love you too patch hello okay so anyway we have a really big problem <laughs> <laughs> With our dog's personal space boundary. Hello. Hi. Yes, hello. <laughs> um, Wendy, if you're watching this, Leo has nothing on patch. <laughs> Leo's small, cute, and sits on your table. <laughs> patch, he's large and just gets in your face and your lap and you're really your everything. Um, so anyway, we have this problem of buying books, okay, because my wife is an English teacher, and, and I just like books, and so we've got, like, a million books. Well, my wife actually shocked me before I got this job, and she went over, uh, through all the books and the bookshelves in our master, and, um, she got rid of a lot of them, and then she still kept quite a few, because, you know, book collection. Uh, so, anyway, what I'm getting at is, uh, we are really limiting ourselves and our children and our patch, uh, to having ten books each that we're moving with, right? And I'm not sure I'm gonna make that cut, because I have, like, ten psychology books just by themselves and stuff. Um, but we are trying to cut down well, I had a book, and I've actually already taken it apart. Oh, Batty, you're killing me. And it's called The Story. Uh, hi, Patch. Hello. Hi. Yes. Okay, anyway, it's called The Story. And it's the story of Jesus' life. And basically, it takes the Bible and kind of narrates it as a story, right? Does that make sense? Um and puts it in order, chronological order, and it's, it's a book, um, and so you, you can read through that, now, here's the thing, 
is I have had this book for like seven years and I made it about this far during, cause it followed a set of sermon for um, a church I used to go to. And I got this when I was in the youth group and I bought this book and I was going through it. <laughs> Patchy wants to play apparently. Hi puppy. Can I finish this video please? Okay, anyway. <laughs> Give me the toy. Give me the toy. Okay, so um, I got this book and I made it like a chapter in and then kind of lost interest in it because again, I was in the youth group and like it was definitely the like adult, you know, I don't know. It was like, I just wasn't there yet, right? And so it wasn't that interesting. It wasn't, you know, whatever. So I was holding on to it in the hopes that I would keep the book and read it later and take notes and all that because then I did turn into that person. But then, you know, life happens and I didn't yet. So the thought I had a couple days ago, which I'm surprised that I didn't have this thought to begin with, was that Patsy would play tug of war with me while I'm doing a video. Um, was that, you know, we're always looking for book pages to use. Okay, wait, maybe we're not looking for book pages to use, but we're always using book pages in some sort of way. And I know Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah has done a series of mass makes where she's used quite a few book pages, right? Sit. And, um... And there's always concern as to what will be on this random book page, right? Well, what I thought about, and of course not everyone's religious, so we're not all going to have this sort of idea or be okay with this, but um, I'm pretty sure you all know I'm a Christian. And so using book pages from a narrated, you know, story of the Bible and of Jesus's life is a great idea. Because, I mean, you can find book pages, or you can find books that are very, you know, cheap or free sometimes um, from maybe your church library is purging some older books, maybe, you know, at a flea market or an antique store or something. Um, you know, these relatively, I mean, I'm not going to say new because this is like seven to ten years old, but... I mean, relatively, um, new book. It's not vintage or anything at all. Uh, but you can just use this and coffee dye the pages or whatever, you know? Um, and, and you don't have to worry that there's going to, I mean, of course there's some explicit stuff in the Bible, but, you know, it's not like you're using pages from Fifty Shades of Grey and sending it to Nana, you know? Um, that would be rough. But... Um, so yeah, just a little thought, and you know, this is not a new thought, I'm sure. I'm sure several, you know, I know Linda Israel likes to use Bible pages, uh, in hers, just, you know, old vintage Bible pages and stuff like that, and, you know, if I had some, I would, um, but this is what I've got, and so this is a great way of me being able to finally use this book. Now, here's the thing, if I do want to go back and read this book, and inevitably I will, because that's how that always happens, for me, right? Um, I will have to <laughs> repurchase the book, but I'm probably going to be doing that with audiobooks or books on my iPad or, you know, something so that I don't have this huge physical copy of a book taking up space. Now, not only that, I've also got the cover that I can use to make a junk journal. And I'm actually wanting to make a wrap book, and so another one. So I'll be able to use that for that. Uh, but yeah, just a small thought about it, you know. Um, I mean, I've got other books like uh, this one from Matt Chandler, but I probably will read this because, you know, I mean, with the the time I have and the time that I will have having this new job, I mean, I can't, they're sloped because they're, okay, there we go. I mean, 
the difference is amazing, right? And so, you know, just find one and it doesn't even have to have cool text. Seriously, this is the most basic text I've ever seen in a book in my life, but it's a great way to add texture. It's a great way to add background um, and then just kind of collage over it or whatever. And then you have little bits of text. Now you can also coffee dye it, like I said. And again, this is not a new idea. This is a, hey, Austin just figured something out and thought he would tell the world, right? So, um, yeah. So that's what I got. I got the storybook. And I'm going to be using that um, so that I don't send Anna Fifty Shades of Grey, right? So... Or, you know, the, the life and trials of Jeffrey Dahmer or something like that. Something insane. So, all right. Sounds good. So, I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> I just looked over and Patsy's sitting in a crate. Like, hey, Dad, you going to be done with that video so that we can play now? Dad, Dad, I'm still sitting here. I don't know if you can hear me quietly stewing over here because you're ignoring me. But um, I'm still here. All right. So, anyway. Get yourself a book, especially, I mean, if you are a Christian, if not, then, you know, whatever positive book you may have that you have not read or that you need to get rid of or that you, whatever, at least use it in your projects and you'll feel like you've done something with it, right? Wipe the dust off of it and use it in your projects. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for putting up with me and for putting up with Patchy. And uh, I will try to get some crafting done while she's going to want to play. So. Anyway, she's yawning. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.